Hi everyone, I'm June. Welcome to my channel. Today we'll be experiencing Russia. Russia is officially called the Russian Federation and is a country in Eastern Europe and in North Asia. It is the largest country in the world by land area with a population of 146 million. The capital city of Russia is Moscow and the official language is Russian. From 1922 to 1991, this country used to be the main part of the Soviet Union, which was a country based on communism. But today, its government is a federal semi-presidential republic. It has elements of democracy, and the president is chosen by direct election. But challenging candidates don't have access to the mass media, so there is almost no chance of winning. The president rules the country, and the Russian parliament plays the secondary role. Its current president is Vladimir Putin. He was the Prime Minister of Russia from 1999 to 2000, then President of Russia from March 2000 to May 2008, and Prime Minister again from 2008 to 2012. He became President again in 2012. According to the Constitution of Russia, no one can be President three times in a row. Because of this, Putin didn't put himself forward for the March 2008 election. In March 2012, Putin put himself forward for the elections and won 64% of the vote. And in 2018, he won the election again with more than 76% of the vote. Let's travel to the capital of the country, Moscow. 11.5 people live there, so it is Europe's biggest city and the seventh biggest city in the world. Moscow is an important political, cultural, economic, religious, financial, and transportation center. The middle of the city is an ancient walled city called the Kremlin. There are important government buildings, museums, and churches in the Kremlin. Kremlin is a Russian word for fortress, and the word is also used to mean the government of Russia. Surrounded by 2,235 meter long Kremlin walls, there are five squares, various buildings, 20 towers, and the world's largest bell and cannon to see. The red square used to be a market square where the traders were selling their goods, but now it is Moscow's most visited attraction. The square is surrounded by beautiful architecture, such as St. Basil's Cathedral and Lenin's Mausoleum. It is a place where most of the city's and country's history unfolded. This is the archetypal image of Moscow with the glistening rainbow domes of St. Basil's Cathedral. The onion-shaped domes were designed to make the building look like the shape of a flame on a bonfire. The cathedral was commissioned in the 1500s by Ivan the Terrible. According to legend, the Tsar thought it so beautiful and he ordered that the architect be blinded so that he would never surpass this creation. I hope it's not the true story. This is another landmark of Moscow, Lenin's Mausoleum. It houses a glass sarcophagus with the embalmed body of the legendary Russian revolutionary Vladimir Lenin. First opened to the public in August 1924, the mausoleum attracts around 2.5 million visitors every year. The Grand Kremlin Palace was formerly the Tsar's Moscow residence, which was commissioned in 1838 by Tsar Nicholas I. It is today the official residence of the President of Russia. The Spaskaya Tower is translated as Savior Tower. It is the main tower on the eastern wall of the Kremlin, which overlooks Red Square. 
The tower gate was once the main entrance into the Kremlin. In Tsarist time, anyone passing through the gates had to remove their headgear, crossing themselves, and dismount their horses. This practice was revived after the icon of the Savior was restored in 2010, but ceremonially. At the Kremlin Wall in the Alexander Garden, the tomb of the unknown soldier is placed. It is a war memorial dedicated to the Soviet soldiers killed during the Second World War. The dark red monument is decorated with a bronze sculpture of a laurel branch and a soldier's helmet laid upon a banner. In front of the monument, there is a five-point star in a square field which emanates the eternal flame from its center. The flame illuminates a bronze inscription, Your name is unknown, your deed is immortal. The Bolshoi Theater is a history theater in Moscow, which holds ballet and opera performances. It was opened in 1856, and the Bolshoi Ballet and Bolshoi Opera are amongst the oldest and most renowned ballet and opera companies in the world. There are many famous Russian composers, such as Tchaikovsky, Stravinsky, Rachmaninoff, Prokofiev, and Shostakovich. Nutcracker, composed by Tchaikovsky, is one of the most famous ballet, which has enjoyed enormous popularity since the late 1960s. It is now performed by countless ballet companies, primarily during the Christmas season. There are many other beautiful buildings in Moscow, such as Ivan the Great Bell Tower, Dormition Cathedral, Moscow State University, the Cathedral of Christ the Savior, which is a Russian Orthodox cathedral located a few hundred meters southwest of the Kremlin. Moscow is a city where the famous novelist Dostoevsky was born. Russians have contributed many famous works of literature. Especially, Tolstoy and Dostoevsky are considered by many people to be two of the greatest novelists ever. My dad was in Moscow in 1980s and brought this doll. This is the famous Matryoshka doll. It is known as Babushka doll, Stacking doll, Nesting doll, Russian tea doll, or Russian doll. It is a set of wooden dolls of decreasing size placed one inside another. The name Matryoshka literally means little matron and it is a diminutive form of the Russian female first name, Matrona or Matrosha. The first Russian nested doll set was carved in 1890 at the Children's Education Workshop, but the inspiration for the dolls is not clear. Originally, themes of these dolls were often drawn from tradition or fairy tale characters. But since the late 20th century, they have embraced a larger range, including Russian leaders. Matryoshka dolls are a traditional representation of the mother carrying a child within her. Furthermore, they are used to illustrate the unity of body, soul, mind, heart, and spirit. This t-shirt is also a souvenir from Moscow. The famous St. Basil's Cathedral is on this church. Borscht is a beet soup, which is one of Russia's most famous dishes. It is full of meat and sorted vegetables, including cabbage, carrots, onions, and potatoes. It can be served hot or cold, and is best served with fresh sour cream. Blini is a wheat pancake rolled with a variety of fillings, jam, cheese, sour cream, caviar, onions, or even chocolate syrup. She is a typical cabbage soup made from either fresh or fermented cabbage. There are different recipes with various ingredients, but it often contains potatoes, carrots, onions, and possibly some type of meat, such as chicken. Hermony is considered the national dish of Russia. They are pastry dumplings that are typically filled with minced meat and wrapped in a thin pasta-like dough. 
It's time to cook something Russian. See you in the kitchen. Thank you for watching this video and see you next Friday. Please like and subscribe. Bye!